Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Cold Creek Outdoors. Uh, gonna go over some of the new tackle that I got. Mm, it's pretty late. Just got done lifting and doing stuff for basketball, so I'm just gonna go over this stuff um, rather quickly. Don't want to have this turn into a 20 minute video. First thing I'm gonna do is off with soft plastics. It's new soft plastics that I got. <clears throat> uh, Yum dingers. Uh, watermelon red flake. Five inch. Just a Senko. Good, cheap. Yum and Zoom are probably my two favorite brands of soft plastics. They're cheap and they're good action for how much they cost. Next thing I got, Gary Yamamoto's Watermelon Violet. Five inch Yamasenko. D-Bomb Watermelon Red. Watermelon Red is my favorite color for soft plastic. As you'll see, a lot of these soft plastics are Watermelon Red. Those yum dingers are too. D-Bomb Watermelon Red. Uh, six pack. You know, as a bass fisherman, you've probably fished with a D-Bomb before. Popular. Popular for good reasons. Uh, next thing we got here. I bought these coffee tubes. Uh, I think these are just green green pumpkin. Yeah, green pumpkin, eight pack, three and a half inch. Got the tubes just because they work good for large mouth and small mouth alike, and I found a good good small mouth pond, so I'm gonna fish that over the, the summer. And next in here, two packs of Strike King shimmy sticks, watermelon red. Both seven packs. We got fourteen of them. Uh, yeah, these are just you know cheap senkos. These ones are cheap. These and Yumdingers are my favorite senkos. Um, and then right here you got one of my favorite craws on the market. And you know, major part of a bass's diet is crawfish. Crawfish and minnows, I'd say, are their two most things that they eat. <clears throat> So, uh, you know, as a fisherman, you need to have good craws. And these, Rage Tails, Rage Craws, are one of my favorite craws. These ones, and my other favorite craws, are the Cabin Creek Baits Craw. This one right here. I like the, the Rage Craw more if I'm fishing for bigger fish, because as you can see, it's got a thicker and longer profile. So it catches bigger fish. But I would never know about these Cabin Creek baits if it wasn't for that Mr. Tackle Box. So I'd <clears throat> recommend it. I got a box coming here soon. Should be here. I ordered a Pro Box April 10th. And I'll do an unboxing video of that. So that's that. Here we have Zoom. Horny Toads. Watermelon Crawfish. Watermelon Top. Orange Bottom. Simple. Frog. And the last thing we got here is the Zoom, the Fluke. These aren't Super Flukes, they're smaller than Super Flukes. Uh, but they do the same thing. Baby bass color, split tail, minnow bait, good Texas rigged. Alright, now moving on to the hard baits. Here we've got... I'll start out here with the poppers. I'm going to start doing some popper fish in the summer. Pop R. Popper with the hair tail, good popper. I'm not sure what the color is. Here we have a Boyd Duckett series popper. I think this is Ghost Minnow. Got this in the Mystery Tackle box too. But I'm going to change the hooks out because the back hooks are alright. But for some reason the front hooks feel a lot less sharper. Here we got a Jawbone popper. Looks like a frog color to me. And there's Storm Popper. These Jawbone brands are cheap. $2.99 <clears throat> per lure. And these are you know not bad. Good action for three bucks. Next thing here is two. I have two of these. These are just jawbone crankbaits in yellow birch color. Uh, pretty good. You know, like I said, good action for three bucks. Got two of them. Next year we'll go to my only lip, the only lipless crankbait I picked up, which is surprising for me because I love lipless crankbaits. Is a 
one of those jaw bones and a fire craw. Nothing special. Then moving on here, we have a Strike King 1.5 crankbait. Chartreuse Black Back, one of my favorite crankbait colors. Uh, here we have a live target bait ball. Oops. The only reason I bought it is it was on sale for 12 bucks, and it's normally 17 So that's why I bought it. Took advantage of the spring sale at Gander Mountain. This I don't think this is the yearling one. I'm not sure, though. It doesn't say on the package, but I'm excited to try this out. Next here, we'll go to skirt baits. We have a, some, I think it was Back Creek Tackle or Back of the Woods Tackle. Some cheap jig that I picked up at Gander Mountain. Good color, got a little chartreuse, got a little black, a little green pumpkin in there. Good, good jig. Here we have a Pro Tungsten Watermelon Black Jig with one of those Cabin Creek Craws as a trailer. Here we'll go to the only buzzbait I bought because I'm just getting into buzzbait fishing and I want to try it. And if one of my subscribers or viewers could do me a huge favor, I'd like to know how to put a trailer hook on these and my chatterbaits, but I'm really not sure how. So if you could tell me how or make a video and tell me how or link me to a video, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, now moving on to what's going to be definitely my new confidence bait. I'm really starting to like these. I bought this one, but I've already used it. Just Z-Man Original Series Chatterbait. This is White Chartreuse. Um, haven't fished with this one. This is Black and Blue. Original. Z-Man Original Series Chatterbait. And here we got Pearl White. Z-Man original series chatterbait. Now we'll move on to terminal tackle. The only weights that I bought are these bullet weights for Texas rigging because I really like Texas rigging, craws, worms, flukes, anything pretty much. I'm really starting to like Texas rigs. Texas rigs and chatterbaits are probably my two favorite things to fish. Next thing I bought are these shaky heads for pretty much whatever. My the first fish I, of the year I caught was an 18 inch pickerel. I had the shaky one of these shaky heads with a rage crawl. It's two casts, first two casts of the season. Caught a small bass and a 18 inch pickerel. Then here I got Gamagatsu five out hooks, worms, whatever Texas rig hooks. These are I like these for ribbon tails. Five out's a good size. And last thing for terminal tackle here is just cheap eagle claw, you know, like three bucks for fifty. For if I want to fish rivers or if I want to use a night crawler to go for bullheads or carp, got hooks for that. Now moving on to the big stuff. I got this pole for Christmas. Uh, Boo Garcia, Vendetta two, six foot six, medium heavy. Vendetta Next Generation, so it's the Vendetta 2. And the reel I got for it is a Quantum Pulse 661 gear ratio. Five ball bearings. So I think it looks awesome on this Vendetta 2. And it's slaying fish already, and I'm excited. I feel like it's going to be a good fishing season. So, got a new setup to fish with. And, oh, I almost forgot the line I got this year. I got two spools of these. Berkeley Fire Line, 14 pound. I got one in 14 pound and one in 30 pound. I got the 14 pound for fishing crankbaits, crankbaits, Texas rigs, chad baits, and jigs, and all that stuff. And then I got the 30 pound for frogs. And uh, buzz baits. And like I said, I'm, I'm going fishing. I didn't say this. I'm going fishing tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to catch anything because it's 
you know, it's been snowy and 30 degrees up here in the northeast. <laughs> Tomorrow's the first day in the week. It's going to be over 40 degrees, so I'm kind of curious how the bites are going to be. But I'm going to go out with some new lures and see if I can't get any bass to bite. And then after that video is uploaded, probably the 13th or 14th, when my Mr. Tackle Box comes in, I'm not going to open it. I'm going to open it on camera. So, this has been a Cold Creek Outdoors video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.